welcome back to my channel my name is k shine and thank you so much for clicking on this video today you already know your girl is back with another talk about it thursday as always these are just my opinions you do not have to agree with them we can always agree to disagree but i love to know what you guys think make sure you leave it in the comments down below keep it respectful as always make sure you guys thumbs up this video and double check to make sure you are subscribed to my channel follow me on instagram and tiktok at kshawn with three e's but y'all already know let's hop right into the video oh real quick y'all some people be saying like <laughs> when i talk kind of like this like i seem down in my videos y'all i promise you i'm not down i, I would never record a video when i'm down for real it's just that sometimes when I edit my videos, I notice that I'm like screaming, my eyebrows is up, I'm loud, and then me personally, I talk fast. So I know that sometimes like it can be kind of hard to understand me. So I'm just trying to like, you know, once you see yourself on camera, you kind of uh, see like certain things that you kind of want to fix. So I'm just trying to like slow down in some of my videos. And in order for me to kind of slow down talking, I kind of got to bring it down a little bit. I'm not changing myself, y'all. Because y'all know y'all love to be like, don't change. I'm not changing, but I do want you guys to understand me. Because I get on here like, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at K-Shine with three E's. And then y'all be like, wait, what? So I'm just trying to slow down a little bit. So when I slow down, it makes me more calm. But sometimes I turn up a little bit at the end of the video because I can only slow down and keep it quiet for so long before I revert back to my old ways. So I'm just trying not to be so loud. Like I got me a microphone right here so i'm trying not to scream in my videos and talk super fast especially when we're doing the talk about it thursdays because i want y'all to understand what i'm saying so um i'm never down y'all don't worry if i ever feel too down or don't feel good or whatever i just won't record a video that day okay but thank you guys for checking on me i love my k-stars but yes without further ado y'all let's hop right into the video let's go all right y'all so boom we gonna have to hop right into the talk about it thursday of course I got the burn book, okay? So for this week's topic, first up on the chopping board, I pose the question, can you date your friend's ex? Now, I know when you initially hear that, you probably be like, no, if that's my friend and that's their ex, absolutely not, right? But I'm wondering, like, for me, I'm thinking, like, how long has it been like what if they went together in middle school and like now y'all like around 30 years old and you know you meet this guy or you meet this girl and it's like it's your friend x from like middle school though so it's like is it okay to date i feel like you kind of have to have um a conversation about it with your friend like let's say I, like, let's say I dated somebody back in high school or so, and now my friend, like, hey, I ran into James from high school. I know y'all went together, but, you know, we kind of, like, clicked. And, you know, I was just wondering, do you guys, do you still have any feelings for him? Would it be okay if I date your ex from high school? Mind you, we 30 years old. So that's a good, you know, over a decade ago. So would it be okay if I date him? Is it okay with you? Da, 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 da. I feel like it at least has to be a conversation made because listen for those who's just like absolutely not like i don't care how long it's been you cannot date my ex like what if somebody is missing out on their soulmate you get what i'm saying like even though some people don't believe in soulmates i understand that but what if you're missing out on your whole soulmate because you don't want to date a guy because he went with your friend for two weeks you get what i'm saying i know it's a lot of like um, it's not black and white, so it's a lot of different things. Like, you know, it's a lot of gray areas, so it depends on the situation. But overall, are you strict on no, you cannot date my ex? Or are you like, hmm, depending on how long it's been, what kind of relationship, and things like that, right? Because, of course, let's say, hey, you've been in a relationship with this guy. And understand when I say guy, it's the same thing for girls as well. I'm just speaking, like, from my perspective. But let's say, hey, you were with this guy for five years, right? Y'all break up. It's, like, five years later. And your friend, and it could be a best friend, a regular friend, don't matter. Your friend. Like, don't be like, oh, my best friend couldn't, but my friend is. I'm just talking about overall friend. Y'all got some type of friendship. Regular friends, best friends, friends, it don't matter. Somebody that you talk to on the phone, somebody that you kick it with every blue moon, somebody that you go out to dinner with, that type of friend, right? So, what if you went with somebody for five years, 
you guys break up. It's been like, let's say another five years later, y'all been broken up for five years. And your friend come and say, hey, I seen James. And, you know, like he's a guy, he's a nice guy. We got a lot of stuff in common, X, Y, and Z. Is it okay if I date him? You know what I mean? Like, what if they come to you, like, as an adult and want to talk about it? And then, are you the type that's going to be like, yeah, I'm completely over him. I don't mind. Or would you be the type that be like, I don't want him around. Like, no, I was in love with him. Even though you're not in love with him anymore, are you that friend that be like, well, regardless of the fact that I don't want him anymore and I'm not in love with him, I still don't want you to date him. You get what I'm saying? And then, is it a time frame, though? Like, depending on how long you guys were together. Let's say your friend dated this guy for two weeks and they broke up. Like, they were in a relationship for two weeks, broke up, and then you run into the guy. Is it the same? Like, oh, you still can't date him because we went together for two weeks. And it's kind of like you telling me I got to miss out on my soulmate because y'all were together for two weeks. You get what I'm saying? Because I've been in this situation, y'all. But the thing is, I've dated a guy in middle school, right? I know young, all of that, but it was in the 8th grade. I dated this guy in the 8th grade. We literally went out for two weeks because we let our friends kind of talk us into it because they kept saying we look good together. Y'all look so cute. Y'all got so much in common, da, da, da. So it was a kind of like, he asked me out and I said, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, we can go together, whatever. We went together for two weeks, and then I was just like, yo, like, bro, this really ain't go. And I kind of started to like him, but not, like, for real. I only started to like him because he would call me every day after school, and we would talk on the phone. So I kind of start develop, not feelings, but, like, a little likeness for him or whatever because we were already friends before. So we dated for the two weeks, and, like, on that 14th day, I just told him, like, look, I think we was just better off as friends. Like, you know, I think we just got peer pressure into being in a relationship or you know I don't know like so I was just like maybe we just better off as friends and you know he agreed so when we went to high school junior year though so this is what three years almost three years later junior year one of my good friends and him because mind you we all went to the same middle school we all went to the same high school one of my friends in junior year is just like hey you know James is kind of looking a little good. Like, we got art together. I'm kind of, like, feeling him. We sit next to each other. We had to work on a project together. And, like, when I was talking to him on the phone and stuff like that, like, you know, I felt like we got a little connection. Like, how you feel about that? And I literally told my friend, because, mind you, at this point, me and James, is me and quote-unquote James, is still friends. And I told him, I told my, my friend, like, my, my girlfriend, I'm like, look, James is really a nice guy. He's a good guy. Like, so I think you should go for it because I feel like that little two weeks, that ain't, but I'm, that, I don't even count that for real. You get what I'm saying? So even though in that two weeks, we did, like, kiss and stuff, but it was, y'all, like, nothing so I felt like I was okay with it and I'm like at least she came to me she didn't try to go behind my back or nothing like that and I know y'all probably think like well they was already on the phone well we had an art project because we all had the class we had an art project so we you know you would be on the phone talking about the project and stuff like that so I feel like while they was on the phone she realized like he was real cool and all that good stuff so I told her like go for it like girl definitely go for it I'm cool with that like you know don't worry about our little two weeks that was nothing major and they still was together well they ain't together together as of now but they were still together up until like two years out of high school so they had like a good little three-year relationship like and I don't know what happened after that because you know I ain't follow up but like I'm sure she had fun within them three years so like I just feel like I'm not about to stop you from meeting somebody in my mind that I thought like this could have been your soulmate why would I try to block that just because of two weeks but then I, on the flip side, I do understand people feel like, well, what if y'all was together for five years? I kind of personally feel like, let me see. I'm trying to really think. Because understand, y'all, when we do these talk about the, talk about it Thursdays, I'm not, sometimes I'm not set on one way to feel. That's why I want to talk about it with you guys so I can see kind of like which side I'll be on, you know? So I'm kind of trying to think like, well, what if I was with somebody for five years and then we broke up? I had no more feelings would I be upset if a friend date him? And I feel like, yes. I feel like, yes. So I'm kind of in between, y'all. Let me know. I kind of just feel like in the big. So I think my stipulations would be, how long have I dated the guy? How long it has been in between from us breaking up until my friend 
trying to date them and then the communication has to be key like you can't try to sneak and do it behind my back or whatever like you have to come and talk to me about it i think those are the three things like the three main things that i'll be looking for in a situation like that because two weeks i don't mind maybe even a month i don't mind but like if i was with this person and i know kids matter too i'm not talking about if you have kids with this person okay because when you have kids with the person i feel like that's a whole nother dynamic so no kids. No kids with the ex, right? Because if that's your baby daddy, I think it's more of a problem when your friend is dating your baby daddy than somebody that you don't have any attachments with. So I'm only asking this question for people who don't have any kids. Like, or you don't have any kids with that ex. If that's your baby daddy, baby mama, no, don't. We're not talking about that. So solely for no attachment people, right? So yeah, I, I think under a month or so, and if it was in like middle school, high school, I feel like I wouldn't mind at my adult age. Like, that was in middle school. I ain't tripping about that. But I think anything that was like a serious relationship in adulthood, like my real relations that I account, I would probably have a problem with it. Even if they came to try to talk to me about it, I think I still would have a problem with it because it's like, dang, I love that man. I was with him for five years. And here you come, even if it's been like 10 years later, I think like I wouldn't want my friend to date my ex. You know, if we was together for a long time. So, I don't know, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about that. Like, I can't... So, I don't know if it's invalid or valid. Because for me, I think it's... So, for the question, do you think it's okay for your friend to date your ex? I would say it's invalid saying it's not okay if it was a long-term relationship. And, like, maybe we just broke up. But I would say it is valid that it is okay if it was, like, a relationship from middle school, high school, and we didn't date for that long, like, only a couple months, and now I'm an adult. I think it would kind of be okay. So let me know what you guys think about that. Are y'all hardcore on oh, no, you can't date? Or is it kind of like maybe you could date with certain circumstances? You get what I'm saying? So let me know, y'all. All right, y'all. Up next, we're going to talk about age gaps, okay? age gaps when it comes to relationships right so i know we all pretty much know about if well if you don't know about Kyrisha, aka young miami dating diddy p diddy um i think Kyrisha is about 28 years old and diddy is like 53 or 54 years old around that mark so technically they would have let's just say a 25 year age gap right and i know when you're an adult you feel like oh 25 years that's nothing major. Like, she's an adult. She's almost 30 years old. She can date whoever she wants. And then another example, and I just seen this on TikTok, where they were talking about how Miley Cyrus' dad, Billy Ray Silas, him and I believe Miley's mom, they just got divorced back in, like, like sometime. And But back in, um, I think back, back in April of this year, and he's now dating this younger girl. She's believed to be about 34 or like in her early 30s, I'm assuming, something like that. But Billy Ray Cyrus is like 61 years old, so that's like a little bit less than 30 years. So we'll say another 25-year age gap, right? Do you guys think that that is just too much of an age gap, like even when they're adults? Do you guys limit the age gap, like, once they become legal? Like, once you become 21, do y'all feel like age really don't matter because you're an adult? Or do y'all feel like still, even when you're older, it should matter? Because when I'm thinking about it as far as Carisha and Diddy, um, it's like, Diddy, y'all got 25-year age gap. So it's like, when you were 25 years old, Diddy, a whole grown adult male the person you liked or loved or dated wasn't even born yet. Like, imagine being 25 years old, waiting for the love of your life. I'm not saying Carisha is the love of Diddy's life. I'm not saying that. I'm just talking about people who marry younger and all of that. So I'm not saying they in love. They probably is. I don't know. Who cares? But imagine you 25 years old, grown male, and you waiting for the love of your life, the person you're going to marry or date to be born. You 25 years old and they not even born yet. I'm 27. So imagine me waiting for my husband and he not born yet. 
I just think that's so, like, weird. Like, I get it. And y'all, before y'all even say this, I'm not talking about no sugar daddies. Because y'all love to be like, oh, but y'all can date sugar daddies and sugar mamas, older people. Dating a sugar daddy, I feel like that's more of a transaction, more of, like, kind of a job, a.k.a. fantasy. Just like when you go to the strip club and you dance for guys and you don't care what age they are. You're doing something to receive. You're doing a service to receive money to get paid. So when you're a sugar baby, 9 times out of 10, you don't have sex with them but even if you do i still feel like you're providing a service to get money so we're not talking about sugar daddies and sugar babies i'm talking about legit people that are dating in a relationship or married to these people and i know y'all gonna be like well they marry their sugar daddies listen Take sugar daddies out the equation. I'm not talking about sugar daddies right now. We'll talk about that another time. Because even in this case, y'all feel like P. Diddy is Miami sugar daddy. And regardless if that's what you want to label it or whatever, it don't matter. I'm just simply talking about dating. Like, what is the limit on age gap? Or do you guys even have a limit? Because for me personally, I think 25 years is just such a... Like, I don't think it's necessarily anything wrong to if you're like in your 30s and you date somebody that's uh 25 years older than you but i just feel like it's so much i was just saying with large age gaps you run the risk of being in two different spaces in life at the same time so like 10 years is a is a a good enough gap if a 20 year old date a 30 year old is that okay if a 30 year old date a 40 year old that seems okay but then if a 10-year-old dates a 20-year-old, of course, that's not even really possible because, like, why would you be dating a 10-year-old? And, of course, that would be so wrong. But then again, at 10 years old, you shouldn't even be dating anyways. So it's kind of like, at what age does it become okay? You get what I'm saying? Like, like, do you feel like once you turn 21, you can date a 60-year-old? Like, you can marry a 60-year-old because you're 21? Or do you feel like it should just be a limit? Like, if you're five years older than me, then fine. But once you get to 10, 15, 20 years older, then that's a no-go. You know what I mean? Like, because I still feel like sometimes when you're 21, like, you're still, like, a kid low-key. Um, so, I just wonder, like... Is there such thing as being too old? And I'm not talking about necessarily anybody under 16 years old because I feel like personally you shouldn't really be dating under 16. Um, and I know when you was 14 and 15 you dated and all of that stuff. But I'm just saying like once you turn 16 like you kind of become, you know. So I feel like nothing under 16. We shouldn't even be talking about them dating. But like if a 16 year old dates a 17 year old, you guys are okay with it. But then when a 16 year old dates like an 18 year old, you guys are looking like you're out of you're out of high school. Why are you dating somebody that's still in high school? But it's like it's only a two year age gap. So you get what I'm saying? So I'm just wondering like how old is too old? Or is it even a thing of something being too old? And then also, do you guys think it's a double standard for men versus women? Because let's see, like, if a woman is dating an older guy, a lot of people say, like, yes, sis, get that money, do your big one, do your thing. But if a man is dating an older woman, they're looking at that woman like, why are you dating a younger man? You trying to be young. That man is using you, X, Y, and Z. Like, do you guys feel like it's a double standard? Like, when it comes to dating someone older, whether you are a male or or a female, you know? For me, I think it does just boil down to a certain age group. Like, I feel like if you're 20 years old, you should not be dating anybody 20 years older than you. Like, if you're 20, you shouldn't be dating a 40-year-old. But then again, I feel like if you're 40, you could date a 60-year-old. It's weird. So that's why I'm kind of asking you guys, like, how do y'all feel about that? Like, should 10 years be the max? Like, if you're 20, if you're dating a 30-year-old, maybe. You know what I mean? So I'm just wondering because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, what do you guys think? I think for me, I'm 27 and I don't want to date anybody that's 10 years older than me. You get what I'm saying? That's just how I feel right now. Like, anything past 10 years, I feel like, you know, you, you got way more experience than me. And not even that. It's just like, where I'm at, I might be ready to have kids or settle down. And if you're 20 years older than me, you might feel like, oh, I'm too old to have kids. I don't want to travel no more. I feel like we might be in two different spaces in life because I'm younger, you're older, you already experienced traveling or maybe having kids. So you feel like you don't want to do that with me. You get what I'm saying? So I just wonder, I think 10 years is the limit for me personally. So what is the limit on the age group for you guys? So let me know about that too. So actually, my question is, do you feel like it should be a limit on age gaps when it comes to a relationship or dating or getting married or do you guys simply feel like once you turn 21 it is what it is you could date whoever you want 
Let me know in the comments below. All right, y'all. Up last, y'all. This is very controversial, so I just cannot wait to see y'all comments on this. How do you guys feel about broke men versus broke women? I see a lot of TikToks about how it's okay for women to be broke, but it's not okay for men to be broke. And um, if a man is broke, he's frowned upon and he's a bum and this, this and that. But women can be broke. Men don't get to get taken care of, but women get to get taken care of. All of this other stuff, right? How do you guys feel about that? Me personally, and I could be a little bit biased because I'm a woman, but I like to assume that I'm not biased. So let me know. I kind of feel like, with women, when we say that we are broke, I feel like we're more saying that we broke like, hey, we don't have no extra money to spend. Like once we pay these bills, the light bill and put some groceries in the house, we broke. We don't have no extra money. Like we kind of live in check to check or whatever we doing. If we doing a business on the side, we kind of just live in like we just stand just a little bit of flow, a little bit. So I feel like that's when we say we broke because sometimes when I say I'm broke, I feel like I'm just saying that. Because I don't have no extra money that I want to spend. Maybe I put a certain portion away in savings. And maybe I gave myself $100 to spend this week. And like I'd be like, I'm broke. Because I ain't trying to spend no extra money. But I feel like when men say they broke, they be broke, broke. Like no money in their pockets broke. Like no house to live in broke. When women be broke... Nine times out of ten, they be still living on their own. They be living by themselves or have their own little bit of apartment or whatever they is, whether they on Section 8 where they got food stamps, it don't matter. They be having their own little house or whatever, and then they say they broke. Men be broke, don't have no car. The car still in the shop from three years ago, quote-unquote, still getting fixed, knowing that you just don't have no car. They don't got no house. They be broke looking for women to kind of live with. Like, I feel like it's more common that men look for girls that they can live with than for women looking for men that they can live with. That's just personally me and my experience. Living in Detroit, Michigan, I see more men trying to find somebody to live off and leech onto than I see women. Like, more men to be like, oh, I need a place to stay. Like, let me try to, they'll try to low-key, like, move in with you. I see that more than women trying to, like, low-key move in with a guy. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm not saying it's not existed. I'm just saying the majority of guys are trying to move into women's house. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like, when men are broke, they really broke. They don't got no car. They want to drive your car. They want to live in your house. Like, they sit up playing video games all day, not making no money, not doing nothing, asking you for a couple dollars, you know. And then when women are broke, it's like, hey, I'm broke, but, like, my bills are still paid. You get what I'm saying? And then half the time, it's like the men be broke, but they don't got no side hustle. They ain't cutting hair. They ain't cutting grass. They not selling freaking Timberlands on the corner, selling DVD, CDs, whatever. Women, sometimes, at least when they don't have, like, a 9 to 5, they doing hair. They doing lashes. They doing nails. They doing makeup. They doing something on the side to bring some type of income in. That's why I just feel like women broke is different from men broke. Like, women broke is just broke. Men broke is like bum. Like, no money at all. Like, we just broke like, hey, we ain't trying to spend no money. They broke like they don't got no money to spend. You get what I'm saying? And I know some people gonna feel like, well, women do try to live with men and all of that. Like, sometimes they don't have no bills to pay. That's cool, but even if a woman is not paying no bills, that woman is still cooking, cleaning, going grocery shopping, doing other things. But it's like when the man is living off the woman and he ain't got no bills to pay, he ain't cooking no meals. He ain't cleaning much. You still gotta tell him when to take out the trash. You gotta tell him to cut the grass. You still gotta tell him to do stuff. So it's like, I just feel like, they don't have nothing to bring to the table when they broke. So I know a lot of people be like, oh, but y'all want us to date a broke woman, but y'all won't date a broke man. Well, when you're dating that quote-unquote broke woman, like I said, y'all got her in the house doing other stuff. Y'all want sex, y'all want food, y'all want breakfast, y'all want the house to be clean, y'all want y'all laundry to be done, y'all want us to do et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But when we're dating a broke man, he ain't doing nothing. He ain't cooking. He ain't cleaning. He's not doing nothing. So for me, it's just like, what benefit am, am I having by having a broke man? Like, are you even trying to get your life together? Do you have any goals? A lot of times these broke men don't be having no goals. At least some women be like, okay, I'm about to go back to school. I'm about to go to cosmetology school. I'm about to do this, this, and that. A lot of men don't be having no goals. They just be broke, and then they be broke, and then they just be sitting there, and it's just like, dang, if you're not going to pay no bills, homeboy, can I leave? least come home to a clean house can you at least make sure you're turning off the lights you're not paying no bills in the house but yet every light oh is in the house you're not doing no laundry you're not doing nothing but then when the man is paying all the bills and that woman is broke not doing nothing she cooking spaghetti chicken and fish you got a steak you got this this and that the house is clean so i feel like 
broke men don't do the same duties and certain things that broke women do so i feel like it is a difference between broke women and broke men that's just me i definitely want to know what y'all feel like in the comments below like i'm not trying to be biased because i'm a woman i just know that if i wasn't paying no bills or whatever i'm definitely cooking and cleaning and doing everything else but i've seen men that just live off other females to the full extent like even saying like when you get home what you cooking for dinner and it's like bro you at home why you not finding something to cook and i know y'all feel like well all men don't know how to cook and all women don't know how to cook either you better figure it out i don't care if you had my Popeyes ready when i got home it's just a simple fact that like i got food there i don't care if you made me a peanut butter jelly sandwich like you at least tried to do something besides sit on your butt and play the game all day so men broke be like po bum type situation our book is like look we ain't got no extra money to spend we trying to be chilling we ain't trying to do no extra stuff so once again these three topics is really not an invalid or valid i just want to know what y'all think y'all need to stop asking why we could y'all could take care of broke women but we don't want to take care of broke men because y'all don't be having no ambition, no goals, no nothing. At least with us, we be having something going on. Y'all don't really be having nothing going on. But that's just me and my opinion. So y'all let me know. But y'all, that is the end of my talk about a Thursday. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure you comment down below what you think of these topics. As always, let's be respectful. We can agree to disagree. But make sure you guys thumbs up this video before you leave. Double check to make sure you are subscribed and that your post bill notifications is turned on. But y'all already know. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.